Okay, so we're back with mid little Mr. Skyhop right here. Our little GFX guy we made in part one. So, today I'm going to be going over props and better lighting. So, we're going to head back over to Roblox Studio. To find a prop. Alright, now head over to the toolbox and find whatever model you want. I'm going to be using a lantern today because it's just simple. And you want to make sure that it is a model. If it is a model, it's not going to work. So where is a good lantern model? Let's search up. A lot of times adding model next to it helps. Alright, here we go. Here's a good one. I believe I used this in my Siren Head thumbnail. Which, if you haven't seen that video, it's pretty funny. You go check it out. I consider it one of the best videos I've made so far. Alright, now, the way you can tell it's a model is if it has those three bricks icon next to it. Now, just how we did with our avatar tech trees and our hats, we're going to want to export the selection to our folder we made in the previous episode. You can see all my other files here. I don't actually play CSGO. I just thought this game so cool. <laughs> Alright, let's just save this as Lantern. Alright, now we're done with Roblox Studio. Let's head back to Paint Rig. File. Import. Wavefront.obj. And Lantern. A lot of times it might spawn super far away from you. That's normal. You can just scroll out and move it. Alright, now this looks a little big, so we're actually going to scale it down a little bit. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So, now we're going to want to just move it to where we want it to be. And we're going to temporarily switch back to here, because my computer fans are starting to work a little bit. Yeah, rotate that a little bit. Just get it in a good position. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And since I'm using a lantern and it's daytime, I'm actually going to switch over to a nighttime HDRI. So we're, I'm just going to go back to the red globe icon, and then find my HDRI. There, now our lighting's a little darker. And that's what we're going for. Alright, now advanced lighting. Select add, light, and point. Then, put the light where you want it. I'm going to be putting the light next to my lantern, since I want my lantern to emit some light. Just uh, find a good position. And then, we head over to the light bulb icon to change its settings. This is the power, pretty much just brightness. And I'm going to change it to yellow. And then I can copy using control C, and then control V, and then paste it over here. And now, look, we have a nicely lit lantern. And if you want, like, some more lighting effects, like different colored light, you can do another point. And then... We'll just put it over here, so it's kind of like... Let's see... We'll just put it over here, so it's like shining down on our avatar. Little Mr. Skyhawk here. And then we're just gonna put it at 100, or maybe like... Heck, let's do 1000. Make it real bright, and we can just change the color to whatever. Like, this is just... Yeah, interesting feature. I'm actually going to get rid of that, though, since uh, I'm not going to be using it. Alright, now you can just render image, and then once it's done, save it. Thanks for watching this episode of my GFX tutorial, and I'll see you in the next one, where we talk about how to add a 3D room.